on your line Your day's just begun The world of American anger On lakes and on streets Now you're living the good life Catch the one of your dreams Today on the American Angler, we're traveling to one of my favorite spots in the world, colorful Mazatlan. Known as the billfish capital of the world, Mazatlan has superb deep sea and light tackle fishing. Located at the mouth of the Sea of Cortez is one of the world's greatest fisheries. Thousands of sailfish, big marlin, blues, black, stripes, broadbill swordfish, dolphin and tuna are also abundant. Our guide for this trip will be none other than the Mazatlan sportsman himself, Geronimo Jerkin. Geronimo, how are you? Pat, how are you? It's good to see you again. You know, this you're never difficult to find in this environment down here. You're always around this pool or around these pretty senoritas. This is tough to take, I know. I like the blue water. Oh, I, I like the blue water. The best, the huh? Best. How's the marlin fishing? It's been fantastic. We're down here to catch one big blue marlin. I'll tell you, if you're ready, I'll take you out there to find your big blue marlin. Are they running big right now? They're running big, and you, you better be ready for a, for a fight of your life. Hey, I'm ready, I guarantee you that. Hey, more fun is coming up, so you stay tuned. He's on, he's on, he's on. There he goes. Okay, he, watch out, watch out. I'm going to hook up. Let me get he's peeling line. line. There he, he goes. He's Look at him jump. Line. He's, he's taking all the line. We've got to get him turned around. He's, there he's he goes. He's moving. He's taking all the line. Go backwards. Okay, come Look on. at him go. He's taking, uh, you're, you're running out of line, mi amigo. Man, we're trying to pick up any you can. Pick some up. We've got it coming down. There he goes again. Look at him, look at him jump, look at him, look at his greyhound. One, two, three! Look at that. God, you Watch gotta... him go! I'll tell you, he's about 300 pounds. Oh. Okay, there it is, there it is. Come on, keep there he goes. him. He's going deep. Okay, okay, okay. Look at him go, look at him go. Oh, what a fish! Okay, just short strokes, come on. Just keep working him. <clears throat> come on, just work him. He's working me more than I'm working him. <laughs> this is probably a male. He's about a 200, 250 pound male. He go, he go between 250 to 300. Okay, Pat, use, use your hip. a vicious strike. Isn't it fantastic? Vicious strike. You see that? When he hit it, he just greyhound. Oh. I knew it the minute he hit it what we had. I mean, you see the white water and everything else come up? This is, this is the king of fish, okay? You see the head when he came out? Yeah, oh, huge. He's built so heavy through the shoulders. Okay, come on, keep working him. No, I was, no not all no. that real. No, 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 you know, you were talking about how this fish, <laughs> you know how, you know, Pat, you know, Pat, you were, you were telling me how, how this was easy? Come on. Well, it's been easy. No, 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 no. Look at that. Look at that. He's right there. Sort of feels like a big bass, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Only about 50 times as heavy. Well, I want you, I want to, you know, I've seen you drag those bass right across the top of the water. We're not. He's huh. You He's know, gonna do the drag. You can drag the bass. Yeah. You can do all this. Drag him right across the top of the water, and then just flip him on the boat. I want to see this. He's doing all the dragging right now. I know. He's moving the boat. He's just doing exactly what he wants to do. The another thing is, right now you're fighting the fish. The boat. The captain got us some line back, but now you're doing the fighting. Come on, don't stop. Back down. Just keep every. Even if you take six inches, back down. Just doing it. Keep back up and right back down. You don't have to, you don't have to go all the way to 11 o'clock. You can go, come up there and then go back down. Keep working it. Now don't don't use your arms. Try to use use your hip. Your hip self. There you go. Put your weight. 
Let some of that weight you have there help you. What do you think? High, strong. You have... You have one of the incredible fish. It's just... You know, I'm, I'm out here a lot of... I spend a lot of time out here, and that's one fish that I never get tired of, you know? You can fish all your life and you'll, oh, you'll, I can. you'll always want the next blue. You know, there's a lot of fishermen that I talk to who say that they don't really care for saltwater fishing. And I, How could you not care for this? I, I, that's what I say. I mean, the first time you see one, is it, it becomes your dream from then on. Para, para, la lancha está neutral. It's a neutral. It's just drifting. Ah, come on, don't, don't do that. Taking line. Go back down. Back. Up and down. Okay, go back down. There you go. And then, even if, okay, right there and go back down. You don't have to go that high as you're going. There you go. I can use my back a little bit more right here. Yeah, but then I got, because I got those straps a little bit loose. Okay. Okay, that's fine, but go back down. Okay, right there and go down. Don't, have, don't go as high as you're going. There you go. Just work there, that end, right there, and then back down. Okay, watch out, he's coming up. He is right there, guys. All right, there, there he, he is. is! There he is. Okay. Now, you see why we have the big shock tippet on it? You see that? Oh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna move ahead so he can, so we can get him on your side. Keep putting pressure on it. Look at the color in okay, that yeah. fish. Okay, get ready, guys. He's going to come up. Oh, he is so pretty. Okay, come back. Reel down. Right there and down. Right there and down. No farther. No farther. There you go. Down. There you go. Now you're doing it. Now down. And let, use your body. There you go. And down. There. You feel the difference? Uh -huh. You're getting to a rhythm. Okay, there. And down. Down. Don't take it. <laughs> down. There you go. Now you're working. <laughs> I like to see. I like to see you sweating. I'm sweating. You are sweating. I didn't want you to think that this was all easy. It's definitely not easy. But it's definitely great, isn't it? Come on, back down. What are you doing? <laughs> you can take a siesta later, man. You're working me to death. That's right. And you need to work the fish to death. Back down. Don't take it any higher than that. Okay, down. All you need to do is get six, seven, eight inches at a time. Come on, big boy. Get around to the side. He's... Do you think he knows he's hooked yet? Uh, I think so. <laughs> I think he knew that right off the bat. I'm gonna tell you something, we got lucky. I don't think, I don't, we didn't, oh. I don't think we had 10 yards left. I know we didn't. I was See, scared to death. You know, he, his initial run went about 800 yards. Come on. God, we gained that little there. Okay, we're gonna be forward, okay? Hold on. Uh, you know, this is the first time I've seen the rod bend like you're supposed yeah. to. This is working. This is working, huh? This is working. You know, I think I'm gonna turn a Arizona fisherman into a, a Mazaclan fishing. Hey, you gotta like this. If you like to catch fish, you gotta love this to death. I tell you, I think Mazatlan has, we've seen everything. We, we've seen tuna, oh. sailfish, dorado, blue marlin, black marlin. It's really paradise, isn't it? Uh -huh. To say the least. You know, you have an official release now because I touched the leader. When I touch that leader, it's officially a release. Is it? Yes. So what we're, so what we're trying to do now is recover as much line and then we're going to go ahead and cut them off. Okay. Okay, but I mean this. We gotta fish, get a good look at it. Yeah, that's what I want to do. But this fish is officially you've caught. I mean, you've hit the the swivel has hit the end of the rod. It is fantastic, especially oh. the first one. Oh man! Now, I'll tell you something. That's very. He hard. is so just brute strength. He just burned down. 
He's playing with us. This is just a little boy. Yeah. You know, this, this one's 200. They get to be about, two, about 1,200 pounds, 2,000 pounds. The American Angler returns in a moment. Keep pumping him. Oh, I gotta rest a minute. This fish is wearing me out. Right. If you're resting, he's resting. Oh, come on. Ah, short pumps. Short pumps. Short pumps. Oh. It's, you know, you have a 30 pound test and you just make him very smooth. There you go. Very smooth as you reel it Ah. <laughs> that fish gonna drag me in. And uh, I just can't gain anything on it. You know, you kept want, you wanted to, look, look, look. He's, he's, he's coming up. up. He's going up. There he goes. That's called gray hunting. See him? Oh, man, look. <laughs> what a fish. Now, the other thing is that the drag is very important. When the fish was way out, he has an extra bend. Okay, so there's additional pressure. So most people's the instinct is to tighten the drag. You do the exact opposite. Uh -huh. You lower the drag. When they're running. Yes, when they're running, you have to lower the drag. You're not going to stop them. All you're going to do is break them off. Now that we got them closer to the boat, then you tighten the drag. Now, now you really will push them. Now you want to really pound them. You want to put pressure on them. So it's very much against you. You're going against your instinct when he's running. People want to try to stop him. They put too much drag on him, uh -huh. and you break them off. There you go. Back down. Short strokes now, only short strokes. Short strokes will take more out of a fish than a big stroke. There you go. Even that's that's exactly what you want to do. A long stroke gives the fish too much rest time. Short stroke, you, all you you're changing the angle. You're just putting a lot of constant pressure on. When do I get my my rest time? That, that's why we have siestas in Mexico. <laughs> we'll be we'll be sitting in back in my office uh, as soon as you can land him and. There's something very important too that nowadays you don't have to kill this beautiful fish. For example, this is something that you wanted to go on the wall. What are you doing? I'm back. You're back? Yeah. Okay, then Just you, rest. You, you, you can't rest. You can't rest. You're fishing now. Try, use your hips more than your back. Do the, Pat, try this. Try this. You do this. Got this a little long. See, I can't. It's okay, but, but you don't have to. You know, you don't have to bring it that high. All you have to do is take it right there and back down. Yeah, I can't get anything. On me. You, you can keep pumping because it's the wrong angle on my back. Huh? Is it, is it hurting you? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. What you do now? Okay. If, you, if that's happening, Pat, take your right arm. Put it, put it on, on, on the, on the, uh, your left arm. I'm sorry, your left arm. Put it higher on the, higher on the rod. Okay, and use that to, to, to rock. Does that help any? Uh -uh. This thing's got twisted on me. Oh, that helped. I think Pat. He's about got my back. Yeah, that's okay. I'll tell you what. How long we've been at this? You've been at him for about an hour and a half. Oh. I'll tell you what. Why don't you sit down? That'll take oh. a little pressure off your back. But you may be on him for a little year. I don't know. I don't think he's through yet. Oh, man. He's a long ways from through. See what you're doing? You're letting some of the rod do the work. See the rod? Uh -huh. The rod is doing the work. And that's what they're designed for. There you are. You're using the rod. You're, taking, you're letting the rod do a lot of the work. You know, the, the pressure is geared. Huh? No, no, no. This is how it's supposed to be. This is what it's all about. We're in good shape on our line. I'll tell you, I was scared. Oh, God, you I'll tell you, you were I scared. mean, it was. We were, we were. He greyhound. I mean, he took. We have about almost, almost say 100 yards in there. Uh, he took it all. We were down to, to <laughs> 793 yards. We're gone. You had about seven yards left in there. Uh, now is when you're in for... I keep putting pressure on him. We got pressure on him. 
No, no, but you have to pump. It, yeah. it's just that steady pressure. You have to keep going up and down. Now all of them. See when I come it, back. It doesn't down. matter. It doesn't matter. You're, you're hurt. Whenever you're doing that, he, he's feeling it. Okay, I'm gonna tighten it up just a little bit. Don't break me off, Geronimo. This is my first one. I think if I break you off, I'm gonna swim back to Mossy Clark. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> oh, what a battle! I mean, this is just terrific. You know, this is this is what you always. Oh God. Thank you. That's what you. You're really getting spoiled. I mean, this is. Oh, this is terrible, this is, isn't it? This is alive. I mean, I wish he was better looking. You know, <laughs> I need to find some. You know, we need to get different mates. Come on, sweetheart. Oh, he's, he's not. He's not far off. I'll tell you. Keep putting that pressure on him. Keep putting pressure on him. We've about got all on that line I think we want. Keep, keep getting pressure on uh, I mean, he has some kind of stout. He's just laying there playing with us. I don't think he knows he's hooked yet. Oh, I think he knows it. <laughs> but I think he's trying to show us who's boss. Well, he's been, he's been dragging a boat around for about an hour. <laughs> Come on up, big boy. I take six, he takes six. So whenever you see smaller marlin, I mean, there's some small females, but a lot of them are males. You'll never catch a male over 300, very rare. Right. The big 1,000, 1,200, they're always females. Are not all species of fish that way? The males uh, except are much smaller? In the dolphin fish, the Dorado, they're not that way. The bulls that are right? bigger. There you go. Come to Papa! He's not listening. No, he's not. He wants uh, to get a mama out there. So. Oh. oh, I've been looking forward to getting one of these on. Now I'm starting to <laughs> think twice about it. <laughs> I just can't gain much on him. Just keep working him. I can see, I can see the, see him right there? Yeah, yeah, I can see him, he is so pretty. Look at the color and that tail on that fish. Watch him move, look at him look move. how big that tail is. That thing must be four foot across. It is four foot across. Man. Okay, now be, this is, this is where he gets critical. Oh. Okay, move, move, okay, just rotate the chair, him. rotate the chair to follow I him. I thought we had him in there. No, you He's know, going again. No, yeah. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, There's a lot of teamwork uh, involved in this. He's, he's close. Okay, see him? Yeah. He's right up there. Watch yeah. him shake his head. I'll be careful. Keep a tight light on him. I got him. I got him. This is when we I lose him. him. This is where, this is during the most critical point now. I got him. Okay. I got him. He's got move. me. I got him. Put him, move, move it up. Put, put a little bit more pressure on him. A little more, Greg? A little more pressure. Okay, you're right. Okay, okay. I'll tell you what. Now we're getting. Now okay, we're gaining. There you go. Okay. Now we're okay. gaining. Okay, Victor, good. Perfect, Victor. Line them up. Three counts. Okay, okay, here's. I, I'm gonna get them. Here comes the snap. Oh, come on, baby, a little bit more. Come on, keep moving. Little, I got him. I don't know what him. I'm gonna do with him, but I got him. Oh, look at that. Okay, para la lancha. Para la lancha. Uh, uh, uh. Let me have a little line. Let me have a little line. Eh? Ah. Let me have some line. Thanks, Bill. I, I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. All right. okay. God, hang on. I'm, I have, I'm gonna stick my hand. Oh, uh, he's dead. Yeah, no, way he's, in there. he's way in there. Okay, right. he's out. He's there out. he goes. Let's swim him, let's swim him. There he goes. There he goes. Uh, to the bottom. That is one great oh. fish. The American Angler returns in a moment. 
That was quite a battle. You'll never forget this. Oh, I will never. You know, I've, I've had a lot of great experiences in fishing over the last 30 years. But that fish and that battle, I'll remember for the rest of my life. I'm telling you, it was tremendous. You know, it's it's something I'll, you never forget them. I mean, and and you anytime you come out here, the anticipation of that giant head coming out mm -hmm. of the water keeps me coming back. Yeah, keeps me fishing all the time. Well, even though we had we had a lot of help out of Victor, and and but it's still you're you're just one on one with that fish. on your life, your day's just begun, the world of American angler, on lakes and on streams, now you're living the good life, catch the one of your dreams.